Hi guys, hope you guys are doing pretty well. Welcome to Ash Media House and today we are here at Sajet IT Solutions Incorporated at Benson and Mecklen Street. And today we have with us um, Charles G. Kwan Jr. And I'm the Managing Director and Co-Founder of Sajek IT Solutions. Right, so firstly, Sajek started as a corporation, a group of young men coming together to make this idea work. And our goal was to promote the mentality of young people not just leaving university and going to apply for a job, but also be job creators. And, and then we also wanted to impact the lives of people who provide solutions to our Liberian economy and see how best we can make our mark as it relates to using technology to solve problems in our country. So basically our major goal was to solve problems that exist in the library today but using technology to do that. So that that was that one inspired us to establish Sajak IT Solutions. So Sajak is a multi-operational IT firm. And when we say multi, we mean that we offer numerous services that relates to web design, mobile app development, graphic design, and branding. So we cover up services that involve search engine optimization, network installation, system administration also. Well, self-doubt is something that most young people face in our society today and because of traditional reasons. But I'm more person who believe that um, I can do anything I want to do. So I go for it and I'm not afraid if I will fail. As a matter of fact, failure is part of success. So no matter what I do, I don't listen. If Yeah, I know other people feel doing it, but I know that if I do it, I can make it. So it's one thing that has inspired me. And I also try to inspire others as a means of inspiring myself. So the more I get to inspire another young person, that, that inspiration turns back to me and I keep pressing the move forward. So that's how I, I've kept moving, moving forward to that. When it comes to fear, there will always be fear. And then I always try to look at the bigger picture instead of just seeing what's in front of me. Now, fear will make you feel that achieving this would have been possible back then. When we started, uh, just group of young guys with no understanding about business. We just wanted to do something and make it work. So we had a lot of people tell us, okay, in Liberia, we basically don't work, um, IT basically don't work. And so we had a lot of things pushing us back, a lot of fears, but then, we just look at the bigger picture. Library is a virgin economy when it comes to the technology and we feel that we can be able to invest into that space and make a difference. All right, so I see every day as a day to make a difference. And especially like some days like Mondays where people complain, Monday is a very high day. So my mentality is Monday is a money day. No matter if I, don't, if, I don't, if I make money or not, I just feel that the fact that it's considered the hardest day, I see it as the easiest day. So. Uh, it means that I wake up with a mindset to do something positive and gain whatever I want to gain in that day. And there are a couple of things that I normally do, like wake up some morning, think about what I'm going to do in that day. And then as I go to bed, think about things that I've done. So in the next five to 10 years, I hope to see this business being one of the biggest IT firms in Liberia. And we just don't want to be big. We want to impact lives. We want to provide jobs for young Liberians. So most of our solutions are geared towards people who are who don't have opportunity to do access certain technology. So we want to make sure that we help students, we help we help businesses, we help NGOs. So we want to affect as much time as possible. So our, our sources is surrounded around people more than just getting finances and infrastructure. Well, a lot has changed, and just a fun fact: we started up this business. Our students just graduating, so our first office was our university campus. <laughs> we we, we co-work with an NGO where we were sharing office space, and now we are here. But then, and then we we started up very small, but then with big mindsets. And then, as a, as a regular business startup in Liberia, we faced struggles in generating funding to kick up. But for us, it wasn't a challenge because the business started with a challenge to get a fund. So we set up, we set up a program where we apply our phone and then we got the phone without the thing being registered. So we got the phone and then we take the phone back into the business, make it, made it work. And we're here today and we're providing solutions to many organizations around. And we are happy that we can be able to look back over the time and say, okay, yeah, this is how far we've come. Uh, we've done a lot. We've come 
a long way and we've made a lot of scraps. I wasn't so sure that in the, in the next three to four years I'm going to be here. But then I was sure that I was going to be somewhere better and this is better. And in the next two to three years, it's going to be way better than what it is now. There's one thing we did. Uh, even though we started as, as novice, but then after doing some business study, we realized that there's something called competitor analysis. We had to do a SWOT analysis also, so we, which we, we looked around with people who are offering similar services and see how best we can offer the same service or better. So we look around, we got the big names, the big five IT companies, um, the, the next 10, and then we try to look at what are they lacking. And then we try to play some of these solutions within our service we offer. So aside from just being affordable, even for our, our website project we do, we try to build websites where clients wouldn't need to be paying us a lot of money to manage that site. So we build site and we train you to manage your own site. So we do it in a way where clients feel convenient to work with us. And then we have solutions that, that are built on the mistakes of other solutions that are in the market. So for example, we have our school management system that we're currently running in schools. So both of our features we have are features that a lot of managers don't have. So as I said, we try to look for what's not there and place it in our that makes us stand out in our environment. Our marketing has been done entirely, my, I can say entirely online because we started up about all this space without a full team that was that understood marketing. So we, we just leveraged on the power of technology where we ran our ads online and referral. So, so we charge very less price for a website and then from those prices, people who they sign for, they recommend us to other people. So, and that's how we started going forward from mainly from recommendation and advertisement. So if you even go online now and search for the best website development company in Liberia, you'll see my company. And we, and I advise every business to look into that, to see how best you want to move forward. You have to network, you have to run your ads, you have to engage with people. Now it's not just about doing the work, but it's about engaging with the people you do the work for. Make them understand the importance of the work. And also after doing the work, how do they feel about the work? And that's one thing that has helped us over the time. So we call it feedback from our work and then we try to improve on it. And that's how we have arrived where we are now. Uh, for me, the hardest part hasn't been about me. It has been about the environment. Because uh, it reached a point where I, I made up my mind. My team and I, we decided what we wanted to do. But we're in an environment where it's not stable, things change. So imagine we're operating, about to make some breakthroughs, and we have a, a pandemic crack. Now it's not just cracking, it's cracking our customers. So when your customer is cracked, they don't come to you, they don't pay you. So um, environment is not stable. So for, for me, the challenge has been the environment and the motivation, government-wise, social-wise, economy-wise, because I feel like I can do anything I want to do. Right, but if I if I want to do it, but the environment doesn't support it, then I struggle to do it. So the hardest part of being inter entrepreneur in Liberia is the environment. My favorite part is the fact that I get to see that I'm making impact in people's lives. Now, um, other entrepreneurs in Liberia can bear witness to this. Um, we, we don't get a lot of money for what we do. That's one thing. People think that you start pacing together, recognition of you make a lot of money. No. We make our impact and then what we benefit from is the lives we affect, the recognition we get. And then, uh, oh, someone see you, okay, uh, I saw your work you did and it's good and I see you affecting a lot of lives positively. For me, that's what matters most than just getting the finance. Now, there will always be challenges. So you have to be someone who will see beyond your challenges. You have to be innovative also, because uh, entrepreneurship now is not just about doing business. That's why that's why there's a differentiation between a business person and an entrepreneur. So, being an entrepreneur means looking at what's there and doing it better and getting income. So, to be an entrepreneur, like you have to be innovative. You have to be focused. You have to be a goal getter. Now, there'll be so many challenges along the way, but I mean, these challenges make you stronger. Um, for us, when we started. Um, and I said, we didn't know much about what we're doing. 
right? Business wise and legally wise. And we just wanted to make this work. But then as we went along the way, we started to understand some things. And as we were falling, we got up and we were moving forward. Now, it, it, it also happens that like, you, you, you have a situation where you have people who will start along with you. Um, especially in a situation where a lot of you don't really understand what you're into. And now it's difficult to even inspire someone to even stay when you say, even trying to understand what you're into. So you have people who will start to fall. But then what matters most is are those who will stay to make it work. So for your first subject, we started with people who are not around. And we appreciate those who started with us. And we hope that you know things will be better. But then it's also good to appreciate those who have stayed and those who have come along to the dream. It's not easy to start in a business in Liberia and coming this far. A lot of organizations start along with us. <laughs> but um, we can say God's been good and we've been working hard to be here. Now, you know, when you just start, you doubt yourself and you, you don't know what you're good at, how, how you can be good at it. But now, after so many meetings I've had with so many high people who have stood in front and then spoke, so self confidence has been one thing that I've learned from this. And then teamwork. So it's not just about you and what you bring to the table, but it's about other people. So you have to be able to, to bring an idea and say, okay, team, what do you say about this? What do you say about this? And then you move forward. So teamwork has been something that I've learned and it's something that we do as subject. Most of the most decisions are made by team. So for that reason, we have people contributing and making making things work. So for me, that is, that is one thing that I think very key, teamwork. Now, currently in the IT space and business space, outsourcing is legal, it's formal, it's something that all, almost all business do these days. So it's no longer a problem again. It's just about how you do it and how you do it with. So most of the services we offer are things that we can do. So in a case where, you know, so now you get some very big work and you need, you need helping here. So we look for people who are innovative, people who, who don't see challenges as stopping point. Because there are some work you will do, you reach a point where you feel like you can pass this point. So now you just have to go sleep or and come out and next day and find a solution. So sometimes we do some work and then we feel like, hmm, we've stopped here. Yeah. We just leave it as it is and then go back. So if, I, if I'm to get someone on my team, I need someone who's innovative, who's a critical thinker, someone who's a team player. Not just about me, but it's about the group. It's not just about it's not about being so skillful for us, right? It's about using the little skill you have to do a good job. Okay, first thing, coming up as a young person, there was this guy uh, that really inspired me. His name is Winry Akwe. So he was a young guy who was really into he was, he was smart, you know, into inspiring people. So I said, like, okay, I like this guy. I, 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 I want to be like him. I want to, you know, make difference in society, talk with people. But then, as I went from the volunteering, non for profit kind of life, the program making, you know, okay, he was out of my school and because he was more into that. So I started to look at the bigger picture now. Right. At that point where I can sit home. Look at how many lives are affected, right? I'll be able to provide an opportunity where young people can explore, work, and fend for themselves. I want to see people living on better lives only because of the solution I provided. For me, that's the success. Right. So I would like to reference a few services we provided. So one of them is what we call the white school management system. Right in our educational sector, there's the issue of transparency and accountability. So imagine if, if you go to a school graduate from in Liberia, maybe ten years ago, and you were to request your transcript, they will tell you to come back maybe after three, four, five days. If possible, you might come after one month. <laughs> they might have to just fix new one for you and put new grades in it because they can't find the old ones. So we build a system where you can be able to manage student records, finances, digitally. And it has been used for more than three years. And, it, and also, it has been legitimized and then being recognized by another Methodist school system. So, it's been running one Methodist school now as we prepare to expand in other schools. So, it's one thing that I brought a smile on our face. And also, we work with a group called Girls for Change, who developed a mobile application where girls who are being victimized with rape and abuse they can report these violence using a mobile application. 
it's called Safe App. So it's, it's on Play Store, it's on, app, it's on Apple Store. I will go back in time and look at those who I started with and see if we could have made things clearer a bit before we could have started. And then also, there are a couple of things I would say I would have come back to do, but I'm sure some of these things were meant to make us stronger. So changing them was going to erase the impact it was making in our journey. So I mean, everything happened for a reason, but if, if it was a must to do, I was going to go back on our first day we sat down, even decided the name for the company. I was going to go back to that moment, right? And then still my guy say, this is what I want to do. In the next four years, we're going to be at this stage. So are you in or out? Right, but I can't go back to that. <laughs> wow.